cats. My great aunt Gladys. God rest her soul, had nigh on thirty of them. All waifs and strays from the street. She'd welcome them in with open arms, putting out food and milk, nursing them that couldn't fend for themselves. Course, we said about how we found her the better. <laughs> anyway, you ain't here to listen to stories about my great aunt's moggies, are you? No, I'd wager you have much larger felines on the mind. We've all heard the stories of big cats roaming the countryside. Bodmin, Exmoor, Dumfries and Galloway. All haunted by large black puma-like creatures. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find a county that don't have a tail of some perfidious pussy out to nab a few sheep. No surprises then that our favourite paranormal hotspot, Canic Chase, has more than its fair share of alien big cat stories. However, one stands out to me as being particularly interesting. For it's one thing to spot one of these beasts crossing some field far off in the distance. It's quite another though, to take one into your own home. Now, to give a bit of context, in 2006 there'd been a number of reports appearing in local newspapers about sightings of a panther-like creature on the chase. These were the usual fare. I saw some at big in me headlights. I found a deer carcass pit clean on the woods. You know, the usual. However, that were to change when a Miss S. Thomas contacted the Chase Post to relate something strange that had occurred 11 years previous. In 1995, she'd been walking on the Chase when she made a discovery of the cute and fuzzy kind. A small black cat lying in the undergrowth looking completely and utterly lost. Thinking it was simply a kitten that had been dumped by its owners, she decided to take pity on it and took it home with her. At first they were not untoward about the situation, but as time went on, things started to get a bit... strange. The cat seemed to be growing and putting on weight at a truly alarming rate, and before long, despite being only a kitten, had grown far larger than your average domestic Tom. Stranger still, it seemed not to purr, instead emitting a low growl. But what disturbed Miss Thomas the most was the fact that the latest addition to her family had developed some rather disturbing character traits. It wouldn't keep still, constantly pacing up and down in a somewhat predatory fashion. So odd was the cat's behaviour that visitors to Miss Thomas's home remarked on more than one occasion that it were no normal house cat and that she should keep an eye on it. Things came to an end when the cat started to focus its malign attention towards Miss Thomas's younger daughter. It had crept into the poor girl's room and proceeded to savage her while she slept. Luckily, Miss Thomas was able to intervene and promptly threw the cat out to live in the garden. Not long after the creature disappeared, a possible testament to its feral nature. In the Chase Post article, Miss Thomas was noted to have said, I often wondered if that was the big cat everybody is talking about. I thought if I told the story, people would think I were mad, so I kept quiet. So, did Miss Thomas unintentionally take in an alien big cat? Are there really massive felines roaming the chase? Well, it certainly ain't out of the realms of possibility. Prior to the Dangerous Animals Act of 1976, it were perfectly legal for the average citizen to own large and potentially dangerous creatures. Ain't much of a stretch to imagine that when some of these animals got too large and expensive to keep, their owners made the choice to turn them loose on the British countryside. But, of course, 
that were 1976 decades ago what of more recent sightings according to figures obtained under the freedom of information act in 2006 there were 154 assorted non-domestic felines owned privately in the UK that's not including those kept in zoos think how much their numbers may have grown especially when you consider the rising trend of designer breeding where wild felines like servals and leopard cats are interbred with your more run-of-the-mill breeds only takes a few to escape into the wild now doesn't it so with that in mind maybe watch where you tread if you're out in the woods and if you see a pair of eyes glinting at you from the undergrowth maybe turn to the way of course chances are it's just some stray moggy but it could well be something a lot bigger and hungrier right get your sense to the bar our special one pound a pint jukebox and pool table free till closing have a good one. I'll be seeing you.